What's going on YouTube? My name is Alex. This is SHG's Gaming. I'm back with a new Super Nintendo video game review for you this week. In celebration of all things Spooktober, I'll be taking a look at Adam's Family. The Adam's Family brand started in 1938 as a satirical comic strip written by Charles Adams. It first appeared in The New Yorker. The franchise would again appear later on as a hit TV series in the 1960s with John Aston starring as Gomez and Carolyn Jones starring as Morticia. The franchise would go on hiatus for a while until it later came back as a full-length feature film and also a Saturday morning cartoon with the film, which this game is based off of, released in November 2020 of 1998. 1991, excuse me. Oceansoft developed and published the video game that same year. The story for this game goes, the judge, Tully, and Abigail Crane have conspired to steal all of Gomez's wealth and take over his mansion. It's up to Gomez to traverse various areas of the mansion and a side-scrolling action platformer and rescue each of his family members. The only ones that he does not need to rescue is Thing, the sentient hand, and Lurch, the butler. Now right away, as you watch this gameplay, you'll notice that Gomez feels a bit floaty. There's a start up and stop animation to all of his jumps. And you guessed it, this game is hard. The fact that Gomez just doesn't instantly stop and there's this animation make this game very challenging. Throughout this game, you can acquire a Fez, which grants you temporarily flight, a sword for fencing, and golf balls to help you along. And if you collect so much money, 25 to be precise, you get a heart piece, collect 100, you get an extra life. So there are some collectibles that may help you along the way. Next, let's touch on this game's music and sound effects. The only real negative that I can say about the sound effects is just the fact that every single time Gomez stops, there's this almost like slight screeching noise. But other than that, the sound of when you hit enemies or the various items that you can acquire in this game are all charming and definitely add to the overall theme of the game. Where this game shines is with its music. Each of the levels has a unique soundtrack and it just makes playing the game feel a lot of fun. Now speaking of levels, holy cow, these levels are long, which again adds to the overall difficulty of the game. Next, let's touch on this game's controls. Like I said previously, there's a certain startup and stop animation with Gomez, but the main way that you'll be taking enemies down is by either trying to dodge them or just by jumping on them. Unfortunately, the hit detection in this game could be rather wonky, so sometimes you'll try to jump on top of an enemy and instead you'll be sitting there wondering how you got hit instead. So, Please be aware of that. Now finally, to close out this week's review, is Adam's Family for Super Nintendo worth picking up and playing today? Well, to be totally honest, that depends. If you're a hardcore collector for the Super Nintendo, or you enjoy the Adam's Family brand, then I'd say, yeah, go ahead and pick this one up. But just know that it has a few flaws to it. It has a good soundtrack, but the hit detection, long levels, and difficulty this one might scare some people away. Thanks for watching, and until next time.